your testosterone as a man is most likely one third of what it was for your grandfather. It's because of chemicals in the environment and many things like this. And it's, it's very like Clockwork Orange, actually, if, if you watch the movie Clockwork Orange, and how Alex is changed into someone that he wasn't before. And it's all about that. It's all about free will. It's all about, you know, turning him into a animal. Is it that you? Well, I want you to lick it. You may think you've heard this information before. Now my intent is that when you see my, one of my videos, you're going to find something that you won't find anywhere else. There's lots of people covering all the standard issues. It's everywhere. If you want to find the standard issues of the day, you know where to find it. If you want to find something new and interesting, you're going to find it right here. And so this is going to be about BPA. But you've heard of BPA before, right? Even all the corporations are telling you there's, there's BPA free, BPA free now. Even though BPA has been in so many products for so long now suddenly all the corporations get it and they're removing it from everything and they're telling you it's all bpa free so now you can be happy right but all the people before originally that were saying bpa was a problem oh then it's conspiracy theory but then once the corporations catch up oh now it's all fine no problem don't worry about it but bpa is a really really big deal they were washing babies bottles in it um before they were selling them years ago and it's it's been a huge huge problem men's testosterone has gone down to a third of what it was for their grandfathers on average. Your testosterone as a man is most likely one third of what it was for your grandfather. It's because of chemicals in the environment and many things like this and it's causing huge knock-on effects on fertility, on um, attitudes and it's just changed. It's very like Clockwork Orange actually if, if you watch the movie Clockwork Orange um, you know and how Alex is changed into someone that he wasn't before and it's all about that it's all about free will it's all about you know turning him into a animal is it that you well i want you to lick it and just like a non-human robot really like that's going on and whether whether that's intentional or not is, is another question that is up to you to decide but um certainly it's been going on and and certainly men's testosterone is one third of what it was for their grandfathers and BPA is a big big part of that um, and this video is about one uh, direction of BPA that most people are unaware of that's still out there in a very big way which is in the uh, bathroom tissue uh, see I uh, see what a good American I am I use the, the euphemism for it the, the bathroom tissue in England we say toilet paper or when we're really being English about it we call it bog roll um, but in America, we euphemize everything as bathroom tissue. Um, and uh, it's, it's in there. And it's in there, and you've got to find out where it is. And it's particularly, it's in the recycled one. And why is it in the recycled one? Because the BPA is in the newsprint. It's in the newsprint. And so when they recycle, you get a ton of BPA, and it's right there. And I have so many videos to do on so many subjects, really, really high-level you know, multi-dimensional issues um, that I wouldn't just do a video about that, um, but I'm doing it because it just brings in another point that I think is so good, which is that uh, these people tell us they care about the environment, but they really don't. They really don't care about it at all. Um, they're perfectly happy for BPA to get flushed down the drains when it shouldn't. They were finding in England that the um, the the uh, aquatic life uh, in the river was becoming um, desexed. Um, I think colloquially people say, you know, turning the frogs gay or something. You know, while well, this was happening um, in the rivers of England, and they were trying to figure out why this was happening, they, and they did trace it to to toilet paper. Like it was because of the toilet paper that was getting flushed into the toilet, and all the BPA that was coming out from from the recycled. Um, toilet paper so it's, it, it's just a great example of where there was this intent to do environmental good oh we're gonna we're gonna do good look we're gonna save a tree we're gonna use recycled toilet paper and then it ends up um, putting chemicals into the rivers and into the groundwater where it's having an effect on the aquatic life and you know it's just a classic example of people whether you call it liberal or bite swam or whatever you call it just wearing that heart on their sleeve but really they're doing the exact opposite of what they think 
and that is really quite sad in a lot of ways it, and it's just an example of people it's kind of, it's kind of like where you know they found that when they were selling Priuses they had to put electric car on the back of it or it wouldn't sell like the people that were buying it they didn't want it to look like a normal car they were buying it because they wanted to virtue signal that was the purpose of buying the car for them <sighs> really you know that's our politics that's the kind of thing that runs our politics fucking virtue signaling and shit it's so lame but yeah, BPA is in the toilet paper. If you want to get rid of it, just get something that's made out of virgin pulp. It's better for the environment to just get virgin pulp. Um, with the recycled stuff, we just need to take that recycled paper and burn it and get the energy, which will deactivate the BPA and, and split that up in the burning process and uh, just get the energy. It's the best thing we can do. In the longer term, they need to get the BPA out of the newsprint Another major vector, you're not going to believe it, another major vector for the BPA is store receipts. You wouldn't think that, would you? But store receipts is another major vector because of the heat printing process. There's just a lot of BPA in those, especially if you've used um, alcohol rub on your hands. It'll sap the BPA right into your skin. It comes in from these weird vectors and it's having these massive effects on people and it's not liberal and it's not you know any of these things this is all just an invention um and we all just need to realize we're all on the same team and you know we need to start working together to stop this nonsense